Hey guys, Twinkle Fingers here, and welcome to Bear With Me. Let's just get straight into the adventure. Fire? What on the earth is that? Giraffe, Millie the Giraffe. Let's go talk to the giraffe. Let's go talk to Millie. It seems you had a nightmare. I don't really remember. There was this fire, yeah, but I can handle nightmares. Well, there was this fire. There was this fire, and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted, I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. So wait, the teddy bear in question lives in your closet. Well, at least he's easy to get hold of. I think I can find my brother on my own. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. Well. I don't think I'll listen to Millie. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here there is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand, while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well... Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel, bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Mugshot Boys? I got a funny feeling they've been to prison. Also, let me... let's see, look at Millie. Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. 
I should talk Okay, to so you. Millie is your toy giraffe. Okay. Let's look around the room, see if we can find anything. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Uh, okay. There's glasses we can take. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might be. Okay, so what's this? It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. Gosh, when she said birds and bees, I thought it was the different birds and bees. Well, uh, <clears throat> gosh, it wasn't the other birds and bees. Okay, so what's why isn't this clock moving? It's a broken clock. Totally useless without the Why small would you hand. have a broken clock on your wall? Okay, so we can't go into the hallway. So Ted apparently lives in the closet. Well, I'm okay with that, I suppose. I mean, if Ted wants to live in the closet, Ted can live in the closet. Let's go see Ted. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble. I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. Fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way. Or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Ted, there's already a storm outside going on right now. Also, he's drinking? Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. You're bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time, and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? Okay, also, is that... Is that, um, Jason from Friday the 13th? in the foreground? Or is that just me? Am I imagining him seeing the mask of Jason from Friday the 13th in the background? Anyway, let's see. It's none of your business. I was already in bed. You're making too much noise. My birthday's coming up. Well, I'm going to tell him I was already in bed because it was, and he's drinking. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some Drinking. real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? 
I was almost thrown into a wood oh, chip thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, let's see. Do we really have to do this? You owe me rent. Well, technically, Dad's owe me rent because he lives in my closet. I guess I'll just go alone. Well, I guess I'll just go alone. Okay, so you've made your point. I guess I'll just go alone, into the night. Hope no one stabs me in the back. Fine. I guess if I come along, they're going to stab me instead. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie? The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Millie and the Paper City Orchestra, Millie and the Paper City Paper Mache Association, Millie and the Wine and Cheese of the Month Club, Millie and the Bird Watchers of the World, Millie and the Paper Cantaloupe Enthusiasts. Well, technically, it was the mugshot boys, so I'm guessing the reason why she's not saying anything about them is maybe Ted doesn't like them. Now, we know Ted said something about bird watching, so we'll go with bird watchers. Um, yeah. Millie and the bird watchers of the world? What? The BWOW is here? But they all went north last month. It's yellow cardinal season and an early start. I mean, what? I never heard of those guys before. What in the hell are you talking about? Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? <laughs> well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel. The one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Your shoe, your nose, your hat. My brother? My brother? No. Well, yeah, but something else, too. Your magnifier? That's right, dollface. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. Assistant? I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. Okay, well, ooh, sticky glue. That could come in useful. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Right, what about this? It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, it's not like he's gonna go on like a mass murdering spree killing campers. I'm pretty sure it's not the same Jason. Hopefully, but there's a chance it could be. What? Those must be Ted's. 
Ted, I can totally see Rocky A2 too, mate. You look fantastic in it. There's so much stuff to interact with. Filing camera, you can't do it. Right. There we go. Now it's nice and quiet. What's this? Left there for research purposes. Yeah, I totally believe that's research purposes. Why does he have a window? Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the light coming from, though? Good question. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Yes, you've got several shades of gray. Right, okay, so... I don't think there's anything else around here to work with. Let's have a look. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. There we go. Now I just need a lens. Perfect. Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Considering I'm doing this in front of Ted. Gosh, I need to drag it and I have the inventory. Here you go, Ted. That's not my magnifier. Shh. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No, this is my magnifier, with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kid's glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Okay. Come on, Ted. Leave the booze behind. Okay, so now we're in the room with Ted. Ted looking fabulous as ever. Right, let's save as well. You can tell I have like, played a bit of this, so I know mostly what I'm doing-ish. Okay, so let's talk to Millie. Let's talk to Millie. Oh, so nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never- Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out. Or else. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure. Gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. Yay! Millie protected me. Thank you, Millie. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Or my front. Or all of me. Because I totally trust you, Ted. Please protect me. Right, okay, so... Let's see. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. There, we got a new friend. We got Rusty. That's um, who's Rusty? Rust. That's all you got to say, Ted? Really? We should check for clues in the rest of these rooms. Maybe there's something useful. Okay, so let's go to the parents' room then. There should be a key around here somewhere, unless someone took it. Okay. Uh, fine. We'll talk. We'll talk to Rust. Hello, Rust. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day, the damn place got blown up. 
Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Uh, We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about the... I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse, trying to corner this bird. No one heard from them since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved Miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Okay. Okay, so I've heard the city is in lockdown. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level, and we all know better. You seen someone to cover up? So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz is all. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. How did you escape? How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. On the Earth is the Yellow King. You know anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open, like open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right. Let's hope so. Okay. Let's go into the studies then. Excuse me, Rust. Just come through. Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Okay, um... Hmm. Nipa statue.
Look at that, we have to wait for Ted to get over there. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? 10-7's the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Not only Ted would hourglass? It looks pretty. The sand, I bet, came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market. So the sand probably came from... Nope, somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure, the desert. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this mm -hmm. whole fumigation process. It's a mess. In other words, he won't do it. He's like, no, I'm not going in there. You can forget it. Um, it's key up here. We'll have to find another way. Can we use the chair? This chair is so comfortable, but we don't have time to sit around. Well, Ted will probably need to at some point. He's getting old. Huh? Ah, I wasn't listening. You just ramble Aww. on and on sometimes. You didn't hear me because you're old. Rude. Only for looking, not for touching, according to my mom. There must be something around here. Uh... Okay, we'll go out. We'll go get the battery from Rusty. <laughs> Where is he? What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah. Hallucinations? I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Uh, what? Something just happened. Rusty, I need to ask you a favor. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night and... I have to keep an eye out. Uh, we could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me as well. Okay. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side rust. Okay, got it. Ted and Amber, move away. Oh my god, Ted. You're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now, suddenly, he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think, by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. Okay. Let's go. Again, 
I love that it can just continue on after seeing that weird red writing. Okay, we're gonna go in Amber's room. To go into Ted's office to get the file. Let's talk to Millie as well, check where she is. How you doing, Millie? Be careful, you two. Of course, of course, Millie, of course. Be very careful. Okay, where is it, Ted? There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. Aw. Okay, uh, is there anything else I need to check? I mean, the filing cabinets. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Perfect. It's a broken clock. Totally useless without the small hand. Let's go back. Let's go see Rusty over here. Aha, and there's Rusty. Why is that a wonk? Okay, so now let's talk to Rusty. Having trouble finding your proof of confidence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. I've got them. You go. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out. Keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Okay. Rust. Rusty's snoring. We'll leave Rusty for now. Let's go in here because it, we have not been in the bathroom. It's so dark I'm in here, Ted. I something. can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. We have a flashlight, so I can make. Put this. Hey, thing I up. got it working. Now you can go in the bathroom. I just that'll work. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Every time I look at it, I see a beautiful princess. She's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know, did it? <laughs> Um, uh, don't think there's anything else in here I need, so we'll just exit the bathroom.
Have you seen What's him happening? yet? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. Yeah, we're totally hallucinating. 100% legit hallucinating seeing weird text. I'm hoping. Okay. Let's get rid of the cobwebs and they won't be a bunch of babies and they'll actually go through the, the like, crawl space. There, I cleaned it yeah. up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. Okay, go. Go to Flynn's room. Go, 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 Ted. The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill where Rust worked for years got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole in the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. 